In this video, we're going to look at the installation and activation process of BFD Crush, a new expansion pack from FX Expansion for BFD3, BFD2, and BFD Eco featuring a Sublime AXM drum kit. And we also get the Mino symbols, which is pretty, pretty cool. You can check out the highlights right here. But what do you say we go ahead and hop into the uh, installation? All right, we'll have a different video that goes over each of the drum sounds. So after you purchase this drum kit, you'll come to your software download page. You'll be presented with download links, four different ones in fact. Now if you just want the BFD3 version, just download these two, okay? Either Windows or Mac, whatever you want. If you want the BFD2 Eco versions, then you'll also have to download these here as well. We're just going to install the BFD3 version because that's what I use. So I've already downloaded both of those parts. They're both in the same directory. That's 3.71 gigs in this case. But before I install, I like to install my BFD expansions on a secondary hard drive. This is my personal preference. F expansion folder, BFD drum library, and I always like to create a folder first. You can do this during the install process if you want or install to wherever you uh, prefer, but this is how I prefer to do it. There we go. So now we have our BFD crush folder and we're good to go. So in order to install this, all we need to do is run the first part and the rest will uh, pull from this file. If you're on Windows 10, you may get a Windows protected alert. No big deal, just click that more info there and run anyway, just because there's no information about this installer uh, out there for Microsoft to analyze. So yes, we want to install it. And right now it's going to extract those folders into a temporary folder for us. So we just have to wait a little bit. And now we're ready to continue with the installation. You can read this here if you want. Expansion pack only supports BFD 3.2. Ensure you have that, of course. Dedicated hard drive, which we've already set up. Okay. Uh, the data location will be automatically added to BFD3, so on and so forth. Next, agree with your terms. Next, I want BFD3 only, of course, because that's, of course, the version we downloaded. Next, now choose where we install the data. Remember, we already set up that folder. So we'll hit browse and we'll just find that folder. It's on F, it's an F expansion, in my case, of course. Drum library, and I want it in BFD Crush. Awesome. I want the full size, which is going to be around six gigs there, and click install. So now we just go back to waiting and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Now we are done. BFD Crush is now installed. Let's go ahead and click done there. Let me bring up this folder that it was installed into. Hop into it. You see we have the audio folder there and the grooves folder right there. The total size of this folder here, let me just right click and go to properties, is you see it's about five and a half gigs on Windows here. All right, so there we go. We have got it installed. We still have to authorize it. Let's go ahead and open up BFD3. Here's BFD3 and it has automatically detected new content. We'll just click OK and we'll scan those paths for us. If that doesn't happen, you can always go up there into tools and rescan your content paths manually. Now we'll bring up the license manager for us and it's going to auto log me in because I was already logged in there. Logs into my F expansion account, which is really great. This is actually a pretty good system here. It works pretty flawlessly. There we go. So all I need to do, I just using the trial of Geist 2, so uncheck that. We want the crush, click authorize. It's grabbing the serial number from my account. There we go. All authorized and ready to go. You can see that right here at the FX CRU. All right, ready to go. Go and close this. Click OK there. Now, if that doesn't happen automatically for you, you can always come up here to tools, set up content locations, and you can do that uh, manually. Okay. But there we go. That is the install and authorization process for. BFD crush and we can filter down here to crush. So that's how you download, install, and authorize BFD crush.